For the past eight years, the Hull High Art Department has been under the direction of Mrs. Davis. When she was growing up, fine art and writing were an important part of her life and she wanted to share her passion with others. First of all, I feel like every student can be successful in here. That's number one, and I say that to the students. A lot of times, students will come in feeling like they're bad at art or they can't do art, and I totally disagree. Um, adults say it too. I've heard it from everyone, and I truly feel my philosophy is that everyone can be creative. It's a skill like anything else. If you practice it and work at it, you will improve and get better. I teach introduction to art classes, level one and level two. I teach a portfolio art class, um, which doesn't run all the time, but we do have that available. I teach digital art, computer imaging. I teach 3D art. And I also teach the journalism class with Mrs. Holden, the English teacher. In the introduction to art classes, we work on our foundational skills. And it's really an opportunity to experiment in the arts with the goal to hopefully grow as an artist and an individual, learning more about yourself, your forms of expression while also learning about other things. So you're learning the how-tos as well as things about each other in the world and the environment um, and how we can use our art to connect to people and make changes. And that's kind of my philosophy on all the classes. A lot of times people think of art and they think about drawing a portrait or drawing something realistic. And there's just so many forms of art. And a lot of times it's just finding what works for a student and what they really enjoy. And that's why the, the foundational classes are really just experimenting to try to figure those things out. The digital art classes, computer imaging is all on the computer. We work in Photoshop. We do some drawing in that class as well, uh, integrating our sketches into what we're doing, our drawings into what we're doing. 3D art is all in the three dimensions. So we do clay, ceramics, we do cardboard, plaster, found objects, anything that's three dimensional kind of building things. I'm making a hand that represents myself. So I made like an anchor, because I like the ocean and boats. And then I did a paw, because I like my dog. I made a bracelet that says family, because I'm really close to my family. And then that's like a seashell for like the like ocean to represent that too. We end up firing it, and then we paint it, and then it gets fired again. And we have to use like certain paint to put on it. The fact that we can incorporate many different things into art is one of the reasons why I love teaching it, but also I think can be a mode for student success too. I think our most successful projects have come, and most memorable ones for me, are the ones where, where we're really using our art to connect to each other or we're using our art to, to work together. Those have been my moments where I think we're most successful. For example, when we did the large-scale mural in the cafeteria with a visiting artist. Um, students got to work with a professional artist and we really worked together as a team. Another example, one year we did a project with an orphanage in Cambodia called the Green Gecko Project and we illustrated happy memories and we exchanged those illustrations with them and then the project just kind of grew from there and the students raised money to get the, the kids shoes in Cambodia. Um, and we Skype called with them. So a lot of times it's those projects where they extend even beyond kind of what we thought it could be that I feel like are truly successful and you can see the value of the art beyond just the classroom. Part of my philosophy is that it's okay to make mistakes in art. A lot of times we, we get nervous to do something because we think we're gonna fail at it or do badly. Um, or we think there's a right or wrong answer and oftentimes students will look to me for that. Um, which is perfectly fine, but I like to challenge, challenge students to, to think about their, their own ideas and what do you think about this? Um, because there isn't always a right or wrong answer and it is okay to make mistakes and sometimes those mistakes can be beautiful masterpieces in art. The main thing that she probably taught me was how to work at different scales and different sizes of art. So when I, we did the mural in the cafeteria, she kind of taught me how to do blending and stuff at a larger scale. She also like nominated me for a couple different awards and projects. So I actually got to go to the South Shore Art Center for an eight week project every Saturday my sophomore year. And we did a huge mural there that I got to work on, which was really fun. And then last year she nominated me for an Art All State project, which I got accepted to. And I got to go to UMass Dartmouth for a weekend and work collaboratively with um, a ton of students there. The Boston Scholastic Art and Writing Awards is a program that is 
put on every year for students in grades 7 through 12. And you can submit writing and art to win an award. It's one of the most prestigious um, recognition programs in Massachusetts. We've had several students here win in all different categories. They have all different art categories, all different writing categories. And we've had students win silver keys. Last year we had a gold key in writing. Um, so it's a great program. I really enjoy the fact that I have students from every single grade, all varying levels. Sometimes seniors will come in and they haven't taken art since eighth grade, and that's perfectly okay. And then you have someone that might go home and draw every single day, and that's perfectly okay. And I love the fact that we can all be together, you can learn from each other. We did a lot of projects about like who we are as a person, I guess. Uh, and like last year we did a political project about like uh, the political campaign uh, for president. I always like to think about the students too that, that come in and maybe art wasn't their first choice. Um, not too excited about it, but then they leave and they, they've enjoyed their experience. And that for me is really important too. And I have memories of, of those success stories. You know, students that have come in and have wanted to take team sports or do something in the athletics and they come in here. There were two students that were examples of that and then they ended up taking art for the whole year when it was only a semester class. So that's always a cool experience too when you can walk away um, knowing that you have reached someone. Mm -hmm. Thanks to Mrs. Davis's dedication and inspiration, art is an important part of life at Hull High School. Whether you've taken her class yet or not, we are all lucky to have her as part of our school community. This is Carol Shields reporting for Pirate TV.